welcome back. Today I want to share with you our family recipe binder. I decided to create this binder because I was so frustrated with looking through cookbooks to, just to find that one recipe that we used within the entire cookbook or after looking through magazines and flipping through the pages just to find one recipe that we'd actually use. I was tired of having all these different organizers that I intended on using, but just never got the time to write down all of the recipes that I wanted to. Um, this method has worked out so much better for our family, so I decided to share it with you. So this is um, just a regular three ring binder that I got from Walmart. It was under $5. I did decide to go ahead and purchase this custom made um, binder cover, which just has our family name on it. On the side, it also has um, our family name, so when I put it on the shelf, I can see what this binder is. Um, and then the back also has that cute whisk design to it as well. The cover came from an Etsy shop called Clean Life and Home. I will leave that linked below. She has a blog also. She is incredible. I love her Etsy shop. She has so many wonderful products and they're all printable so you can print them um, at your home. And yeah, they're just really nice products. So that is what I used for the Opening cover. up the binder, over here on the left-hand side is this list pad. It has the weekly meals Monday through Sunday on this side and a shopping list over here on this side. It's perforated in the middle, so you can go ahead and write down your family meals and your shopping list. Take this to the grocery store and hang this up in an area that your family can see at a quick glance. I love this list pad. I got it off of Amazon and I will leave the link to it down below if I can find it. The first page in my binder is this cooking conversions. I really like having this in the front page so I can refer to it easily as I'm cooking. This came from the Clean Life and Home blog. I will leave a link to that down below. Behind that page is this fridge and freezer shelf life guide. I found this on um, Pinterest. It was a free printable and this has come in so handy. It has different sections here, one for meat and seafood, one for dairy, one for fruit, one for vegetables, and one for breads and pastries. And then it just gives you um, the life guide for the fridge, and the freezer, and different um, categories over here on the left hand side. This is very helpful and I find this to be very to be a very good resource um, when I am not sure how long things are good for in the fridge or freezer especially. The next page that I've included right in the front of my recipe binder is a kitchen inventory list. I haven't filled it out yet but I do intend on putting down our staples for the pantry and cabinets, the fridge, and the freezer. That way I can go ahead and just check off the things that I need to get at the store that we've run out of. Um, I put all of my pages into page protectors. Again, I purchased those at Walmart. You can find them pretty much at any home store though. And I like to include all my pages in there for two reasons. One, while I'm cooking, I like to be able to have my recipe, recipe binder out. And in case any food splatters on it, I can, I can quickly wipe it away. Also, because I can take notes right here on it, for example, this page, I can take a dry erase marker and check off what we are needing to get at the store and then wipe it clean once I've gotten those items. Next, I have all of the categories that I decided to use for our binder. I bought these dividers again at Walmart and I like them because they have a pocket in the front. I use the pocket so that way when I am printing off new recipes to try, I put them right in the category that they belong in, but I don't add them into my binder until we have cooked the recipes, tried them out. If we like them, they get added into the binder. If we don't like them, I toss them and um, try again. So the different sections that I have decided to include in my binder are just basically sections that work for our family. You can divide your binder up however works best for your family. Um, I have all of my sections included in one binder right now, but if it gets too big, I can always separate my binder into two separate binders if need be. The sections that I have included in our binder are chicken, beef, pasta, 
entrees, which is usually just um, entrees that don't fit into the other categories that I have. It's kind of like a miscellaneous entree um, section here. I have a crock pot section a freezer section which is where I keep all the recipes that are really good to freeze I put those in there or freezer meals that I like to um, freeze I put in that section I have a soup section a side section salad section appetizer section breakfast section dessert section, drinks section, holiday section, and a separate Christmas section. So those are all of the categories that I've included in here. All of the recipes that we use fall under one of those categories and I file our recipes according to which category they belong in. Um, I just used my label maker to make these labels on the dividers and I can easily flip and see which section is which and find the recipes that I need within those sections. So what I do at the end of every month as I am preparing to meal plan for the following month, I print out a few, I usually try to print out three new recipes to try a month. And what I do is I just file them um, within the category that they belong in and put them right in this front folder. And then, like I said, after we've tried them, then they get added and we like them, they get added into our recipe binder. I absolutely love going on Pinterest or allfoods.com or all recipes, sorry, allrecipes.com and finding new recipes to try and then just being able to simply slide it in and I can refer to that time after time. This is just a great method if you don't have a lot of time to write out the recipes or you just don't want to hand write out the recipes. This is just a really great way to keep track of all of your family favorite recipes. It is a great resource when meal planning and when just trying to find different recipes for different occasions. I highly recommend creating some sort of system like this for you and fam your family. Um, it definitely is a great way to keep all of your favorite recipes organized. So that is a look at our family recipe binder. I hope that you enjoyed this and please let me know in the comment section below if you have a favorite website that you like to find recipes from. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll talk to you soon.